Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we're continuing on with AP Physics 1. We are doing more dynamics questions which is all about uh, free body diagrams and net force equations. So let's look at this. Three blocks of masses, one kilogram, two kilogram, four kilogram connected by massless strings of which passes over a frictionless pulley of negligible mass as shown above, calculate each of the following. The acceleration of the four kilogram block, the tension in the string supporting the four kilogram block, and the tension in the string Okay, so um, do, 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 do. so we need to know what the acceleration is, okay? So let's draw some free body diagrams. I have this, and I'm going to assume um, G is 10. So this is 40 newtons down. This is mg. I have tension going up. I don't know what the tension is. See, in this problem, I don't know they're standing still, so these forces aren't equal. Clearly, there's going to be a net force. And it's probably this side, because this side's going to like pull down more, right? Okay, and this side, well, I'm going to call this T1, by the way, because these two strings might have different tension. This guy has T1 acting on it. He has 20 newtons from his weight, and then he has T2 also acting on it. This guy only has T2 acting, pulling him up, and then 10 newtons going down. Okay? So this is kind of um, the setup here. Now, let's do the straight, the most direct way is just simply for each free body diagram and net force, uh, I set up, like, I set up the equations. So now all of them have to, ex whatever the acceleration is, they all have to have the same acceleration, right? Because um, uh, they all move together, okay, unless the rope breaks or anything. So I'm going to say this sort of motion here is positive, positive direction, and this direction is sort of the negative. Kind of like going, it's, everything's going in this direction, right? So for this guy, 40 newtons minus T1 is his net force, and that has to equal 4 kilogram times A, which is the acceleration of this block. So this is net force equals A. Okay, I, don't know, I don't know what T1 is, and I don't know A, so I, I can't solve for A, right? Now let's look at this equation. This is T1 minus 20 newtons minus T2 has to equal um, the, his motion in that direction, which is two kilograms times A. Okay, and then the last, well now, see now if, I, if this didn't have T2 in it, I could solve because I could solve for T1 and plug it into here, but now I have another unknown. So I need a third equation, which is this one, T2 minus 10 newtons equals one kilogram times a now you might like when you when these are not in zero the acceleration it is important to say which one is positive and which one's negative and that's what i did with this direction on this side upward is positive and downward is negative on this side i said downward is positive and distant because i wanted everything to sort of move in the same same polarity so we're saying the direction of motion this way is positive Okay, and so that's why anything in the direction of motion is a positive force. Anything against the direction of motion or downward would be negative, negative force. Okay, so here I can solve for um, T2, plug it into here, and then solve for T1 and plug it into here. Or I can solve for T1, how about this one? I do it this way. T1 is equal to 4A, I'm going to drop the units just to make it sort of minus 40. I'm going to plug that into here and T2 into here. This is T2 is equal to A plus 10. So that is going to go through there. So this equation then becomes um, 4A minus 40 minus 20 minus A plus 10 equals 2A. So let's combine. Let's see. This is minus 60 minus 70. Um, this is 3A minus 70 equals 2A or A is equal to 70 meters per second squared. Now I want to check that. Does that seem right? Let's see. For 40 newtons. Net force should be like 10 newtons. 10 over, no, this seems like it's a little too much. So let me just double check that I did this math right. T1 is 4D. Oh, it, this is, sorry, this is 40 minus 4A. That's where I screwed up. Because um, the number seemed really high. So really it's 
and then T2 is 10 plus A. Okay, so th this, this looks better. Okay, 40 minus 20 minus 10, that's 10 minus 5A equals 2A, or it's 10 is equal to 7A, or A is equal to 10 over 7 meters per second squared. Okay, that's the acceleration. The tension supporting the 4 kilogram block, that's T1. T1 is equal to 40 minus 4A, that's 40 minus 4 times 10 over 7. Yeah, um, that's equal to 40 minus 40 over 7. Um, that's 40 times 6 sevenths. Man, nothing cancels. That's 240 over 7 newtons. C, the tension of the string connected to the 1 kilogram block. That's T2. T2 is equal to A plus 10. That's equal to 10 over 7 plus 10. That's 11 and 3 sevenths. I could use a calculator, but I'm a little bit lazy on that. So, Okay. Um, all right. I think that wraps up that one. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.